Hello everybody, before I get underway with tonight's pricing and recap, I just need to make a specification on the motorcycle that was won in the showcase yesterday by one of the MVPs of the prices, right, Jessica, and that was a Triumph Daytona 675 motorcycle. NBC 11 News Clips informed me that it was a Daytona 625 motorcycle, but I just double checked on yesterday's Price is Right airing on CBS.com and it did say 675. However, I still thank NBC 11 News Clips for helping me out on the specification of the motorcycle. And now it's time for the fabulous Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Tuesday, November 8, 2011, Election Day. Today's price games played were the following. Switch, spelling bee, two for the price of one, side by side, one away, and shopping spree. The first contestant was Tiana, a very cute cheerleader, played Switch for a Honda Ruckus 49cc engine scooter modeled by Marlis Manuela and a 60 inch 3D LED LCD HD TV that came with two pairs of 3D glasses modeled by Ravishing Rachel. Kiana chose to switch the prices so Manuela brought the price of $32.40 over to the LED, LCD, HD, TV, and 3D, and Rachel brought over the price of $24.99 over to the scooter. Now, to be honest, I felt they were right the way they were. So now, when Manuel and Rachel revealed the prices of the two prizes, it turned out that... Tiana was right to switch! So, she won both prizes, totaling $5,739. Ashley played Spelling Bee for a 2012 Hyundai Accent GLS, modeled by Rachel, valued at $14,955. Let's like point out that Ashley was celebrating her birthday on the tape date of today's episode. Manuela was in charge of placing the pick numbers from the contestant on the Spelling Bee board. Two free numbers Ashley chose were 8 and 26. Awesome Amber was in charge of the three small prizes, which were a 14-liter paper shredder, a mini wooden picnic table, and a reusable insulated zebra pattern lunch bag. First for the paper shredder, Ashley believed it was $50. She had to be within $10 to win another car, and the price was actually $46. She was off by $4. She chose car number 14. Now for the mini wooden picnic table, she believed it was $15. The price was actually $18. She was off by $3. She now chose car number 9. And finally, for that insulated lunch bag, she went with $15 again. The price was actually $22. She was off by $7. She chose car number 24. Ashley did not want to take the $5,000 and quit. She went for the car. And after when Drew and Manuela switched around 8 and 26, that was placed incorrectly by her. That was just a mistake. Behind car number 8 was... Get this! Car! She won the car! Spelled out just like that. C-A-R. Now, the remaining four cards, in case you're wondering, were a C for number 26, number 14 and R, Number 9 is A, and number 24 in R. So, she still would have won the card even if it was spelled out C-A-R. Great win. Karate, spelled C-A-R-A-D-I, almost sounds like Buck Hardy, played two for the price of one for a 27-speed ladies' mountain bike, modeled by Amber, 
And a Tutoy Tao modeled by Manuel. George Gray did not mention the total prize amount of the two prizes. However, Karate did have to find out what the price of that mountain bike was. She chose the middle number for free, and that was a 5 and not an 8. For the first number, she chose 8 instead of 3. And for the third number, she chose 1 instead of the 9 to make the price $851. I was not feeling too good on that price at all. The actual retail price? $850. Nine dollars! I so wanted her to choose nine! Well, I blame most of the audience for saying one. Oh, and we were doing so well in the winning, too! Shit! She did have a nice hat, though. Laura played side by side for a contemporary portrait view Ico dining room group and Noritake Aegean Mist Dinnerware, modeled by Rachel. Laura chose the side of 6,251 over the side of 5,162. Now, to be honest, I really felt that 5,162 was the price. However, Laura choosing 6,251 led to a win! She won her price package! Raul played one away for a Chevrolet Camaro LS Coupe modeled by Manuela. The wrong price was $36,288. Rachel was in charge of changing the numbers. For the first number, Raul decided to make it a four instead of two. Are you kidding me? Bob from Bob's Burgers, I am not kidding you. He really went with four. Wow. Uh, for the second number, he chose five instead of seven. For the third number, he chose three instead of one. For the fourth number, he chose nine instead of seven. And for the last number, he chose seven instead of nine to make the price $45,397. You're probably asking yourself, what the fuck? I don't blame you. Now, when it was time to ask the Almighty Sound Effects Lady if he had one number right, he did have one number right. And I'll tell you right now, I knew what number he got right was. Now, when he asked the Almighty Sound Effects Lady if he had two numbers right, he had to change four numbers. Well, I'll tell you those four numbers right now, folks. He changed the four to a two. Thank God. The three to a one. The nine to a seven. And he changed the five to a seven, making the new price $27,177. I... I'm going to tell you right now, this... this was def this game was definitely um, blown win wise. I, I, I know what the outcome was gonna be. Uh was that first number two? Of course it was. No ah. Now was the second number a seven and not a five? No, it was a five. That was that number I knew was right. And the remaining three numbers were one, seven and nine. The actual retail price $25,179. You know, if I prove from The Simpsons, well, he's a character, a cartoon character, but Hank Azaria, who does the voice of Apu, was over at The Price is Right today, I think in Apu's voice, he would have asked Roald this question. Yeah, what the hell was he thinking of? First on $45,397. Uh, by the way, uh, changing the 5 to a 7 was stupido. Finally, Gary, a retired firefighter from Detroit, playing Shopping Street 4. 
double NCF 14 karat gold and sterling silver jewelry that included one karat diamonds, hand modeled by Amber, a Fagor America stainless steel dishwasher, also modeled by Amber, an elliptical trainer modeled by Manuela, and an Apple iMac desktop computer modeled by Manuela as well. Gary had to spend at least $7,500. He first chose the computer. Manuela revealed the price to be $1,799. He had $5,701 left to spend. Next up, he chose the jewelry. Amber revealed the price to be $3,310. No doubt in my mind, that was a great pick. He had $2,391 left to spend. And now for the win, he chose the elliptical trainer and not the dishwasher. That elliptical trainer had to be at least $2,391 to win. And Manuela revealed the price to be... $2,700! He won all four prizes, including the dishwasher at $890. Grand total, $8,699. So, despite those two fuck-ups that really should have been easy wins, that really could have been a perfect show today, we still did not do too bad with four big prize game wins. They were Switch, Spelling Bee, Side by Side, and Shopping Spree. So I named the MVP Tiana, Ashley, Laura, and Gary. By the way, Tiana won a thousand dollars in the first showcase showdown. That was pretty good. Unfortunately, some bad news occurred today. Tiana and Laura, who were in the showcase, they were part of the third double overbid for this season. Can you believe that? Nonetheless, today was a very good winning show. This week's sponsor for the Price is Right Price Game Recap is from McCormick Original Taco Seasoning Mix. McCormick, the taste you trust. So, uh, if you haven't done so, whatever elections are taking place today, go out and vote. I know for next year, the big presidential election it's going to be something I'll definitely be voting for, just like it did in 2008. But for now, I must speak to you goodnight, and I will see you all tomorrow.